years ago, before I got into academia, um, I thought I wanted to be a filmmaker. I went to film school. I looked around and I was the only African-American male. Uh, there was one other African-American, a woman, in the program. And I just remembered how alienating and awkward the experience was as a 19-year-old not expecting this type of thing, you know. So I think that was my first introduction to exclusion in Hollywood and how that works and the impact of that. If you go back to the very early days of, of media, mass media, a film like Birth of a Nation essentially glorified negative images of African Americans, depicting them in all kinds of stereotypical ways, classic stereotypes that still exist to this day. Moving forward, um, we have an industry that's controlled largely by white men, in many cases, who don't have the type of intensive face-to-face -face interactions with black people that would help them better understand the humanity of black people. So black people tend to be presented in one-dimensional um, stereotypical images that do all kinds of harm in terms of our nation's racial politics. One of the more compelling takeaways from this report uh, about the writer's room is that writers of color tend to feel pretty voiceless um, in writer's rooms, particularly when they're the only one. And unfortunately, that's far too often. Um, most writer's rooms don't have people of color and certainly not, not African Americans. And many that do have African Americans, they are the token writer. And unfortunately for African Americans and other people of color, um, those um, dimensions are dimensions that um, make us seem as if we're unworthy, that we're not full American citizens. So therefore, when, when other people who don't have an understanding of our humanity, based on these images, go to the polls to vote, for example, they're less likely to vote for things that would lead to a more inclusive America. They tend to think of America or America of the past as the good old days. Uh, the good old days, of course, were, were days when people of color and women were routinely and legally subjugated. One of the things that we found in our Hollywood Diversity Report series is that people of color now are driving a lot of what's happening in TV and certainly what's happening at the box office. That said, it's still going to require action on the parts of people to make a change. And I think the organizations that um, run the studios and networks are going to have to make some decisions. They're going to have to cast the net more widely when it comes to uh, project pitches. Um, they're going to have to think about the executive suites. They need to be diversified. And I think there's a place for advocacy groups to place pressure um, on these organizations. And certainly, um, I think consumers need to be educated. The audience needs to be educated. When they get a taste for something or a taste of something they haven't seen before, um, I think we can use that to educate them. You know, you can see more of that if we place pressure on organizations to make changes.